What's going on guys? My name is Fatty. Welcome back to my channel. So I told you guys 2020 there's going to be big changes uh, to my Supra. Um, there is also going to be big changes to the type of car that I have. So if you guys haven't seen my Instagram yet, um, I did pick up a new car. It is a JDM car. It is a Japanese car. It's one of the cars that I've been looking for for quite some time. Um, so I'm going to reveal it. So if you guys want to know what it is, keep watching. Alright, so the car I picked up is a 1994 Toyota Celica GT4. That is right, it is the WRC model. <laughs> You guys don't know what this is this is a j spec car um, it is only released 2500 in the world it is a homologation car so that means that in order for toyota to participate in the world valley championship they have to produce a certain amount of production cars for them to actually participate in a certain class so this car is actually one of the 2500 cars that were made in the world so yeah um i think Around Japan received 1700 700 went to uh, Australia and I think the other went to maybe to Europe and so on What's special about this car is that it comes with the WRC riser blocks so right here this car came with some wet sport wheels um, stock suspension let's look inside Came with this Momo steering wheel. The car comes with the Recaro seats. It's the uh, JDM Confetti Recaro seats. And let's look what's so special about this car. This car comes with a 3S GTE motor. This is a this is the same motor that's in the MR2. Um, this is a third gen. This right here is a heat shield for the anti-lag. So that is right guys. This car is actually has a built-in anti-lag right here uh, for the WRC model. Um, but it is disabled. There's quite some tune that you might have to go for for you to actually activate this car um, But this car is actually equipped already with the anti like feature um, Another cool thing about this car also has is a front mount water cooler spray um, So if you guys want to check It's in here. I don't know if you guys can see it But let me try to point it out. But it's right here. There's a nozzle for the front mount so for the MR2 um, it's the same engine so the MR2 has a side mount intercooler that goes from here to the side of the car um, but the Celica GT4 comes with a water cool intercooler so what that means is that this whole intercooler is actually cooled down by coolant this is being used by the red Toyota coolant um, and this is the typical green antifreeze coolant for your regular radiator so it's running off of two different type of coolant and so the pump is right here so it activates and it goes in and cools down the turbo so yeah uh, another cool feature is that this right here is a, a duct that actually cools down the alternator pretty interesting right so what's cool about the uh, GT4 is that they have these hoods right here. So if you can see, 
it's a lot of vents the vent goes right here then there's a vent that comes out to cool down the um, the engine bay pretty much where your turbo is at so all the heats come out from here they got the exit vents right here on top as you guys can see and then they got this really cool vent right here so this vent is actually uh, practical so the air goes in here and it goes down to right there which cools down your camshaft if you guys are excited to see what's coming up for 2020 make sure you guys subscribe if you guys want to see all the updates that's happening to my car before i post it up the video make sure you follow my instagram until then i'll talk to you guys later peace